for watching another quick tip video. My name is Bruce Schaller and this quick tip video is on getting started with model based definition inside of SOLIDWORKS 2019. Since 2019 they've renamed the Dimension Expert Dimension tab into MBD Dimensions. In the Property Manager it's still called the Dimension Expert Manager. This is where I like utilizing the dimension expert commands from and I usually go in and use the auto dimension to first lay out my datums on any part whether it's a prismatic or turn part I decide whether I want geometric dimensioning and tolerancing which would leave geometric checked or if I just want plus or minus tolerancing if I've got a precision part I'm doing things like true positioning on holes, we can really leverage Dimension Expert or now MBD Dimensions to go ahead and do our GDNT. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to define a primary datum as A being the bottom. If I right click now after selecting the bottom, it goes to a secondary datum. If I click over on the side of the part, and right click again before moving my cursor it goes to the tertiary datum pick so I'll pick the front as being the tertiary and now rather than right clicking what you'll want to do is go over and click in the feature scope to tell it which features you want to dimension so the features I want to dimension first are going to be the holes so to dimension the holes you click on them and it picks up that they were both placed in the same hole command. It'll even put the 2x on them inside of the dimension expert or MBD dimensioning. So I might want to dimension another feature as well like the height of the part. So if I click the face for the height of the part it comes up with some options down here. I could continue forward and it would put the height dimension on there but when clicking on the height dimension you want it to highlight both faces if they're both the same height and machined on the same facing operation. So to do that you'll use this create compound plane command to pick up the face that the dimensioning didn't pick up and hit OK. From here we can go in and say OK to the dimensioning and it'll go ahead and put the dimensions using GDNT. It's made my datums and it's placed dimensions and it's turned my part surfaces green that have been fully dimensioned. If I want to turn that off I can come over to the show tolerance status and turn that on or off. If I wanted to add some more dimensions I could do it manually by just going into things like a size dimension for a chamfer or for a fillet. Using Dimension Expert you can see it picks up how many times that fillet and chamfer were on the part. So it's a great way to dimension quickly. You can see it didn't grab the basic location dimensions for my holes. So what you can do is start utilizing a couple other settings one of them would be going into your annot or really this is the best setting that you can first do is make your tree display go show your annotation based tree especially when you're using geometric dimensioning and tolerancing because you get to see your datums and everything that's dimensioned in here so that's generally my first step after putting a, a set or two of feature dimensions on the part from there my next step is going in and snapping a 3D view. Now the 3D views button is only going to be activated if you have the model based definition add-on. The MBD add-on this command manager icon up here will show the 3D view command and all the additional commands you get with the model based definition software add-on being able to create 3D PDFs, 
published to eDrawings and create step files that have this dimension data put within it are all part of the MBD package. So the next step in the basics of learning MBD is snapping views. So generally when I put some 3D dimensions in, I start and I capture a view on that. And when I capture this view, I'm going to tell it to put the dimensions in from every one of these views. If I just clicked one of the views, it would only put the ones in that came from the bottom. I want it to put in all the views, and I'm going to call this all 3D views. That's usually the first step I do. From there, now I want to go in and dimension some more features or look and see if I can move some of these dimensions over to be on my bottom plane. If you look, this bottom plane dimension that's dimensioning the true position on these holes, when you click on it, it's even going to highlight the holes. Just like when I click on this, it's going to highlight both faces because I use that compound face command. But what I really want to do here is go in and tell it that this datum right here really shouldn't belong on the front plane, that it goes on the bottom. I might want to do that with a couple others as well. So you select first on the datum and then right click and you can go in and put it on whichever plane you want. If you wanted to control select and select multiples, you can do that as well. So I'm going to put all those on my bottom plane and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and reorient my part to the bottom using activate and reorient and we'll see all the dimensions that I just put on that bottom plane. And then I can go in and I can capture just my bottom and it'll only put the dimensions that are on my bottom plane in there. So that's what you do to create second views and have the dimensions that you want to go from your all dimensions view in 3D to your 2D bottom view at any time. Now the software didn't automatically put basic dimensions on these holes but you can go over and find that feature right click on the, in the tree and say recreate basic dimensions and that'll go ahead and put the basic dimensions in there for you as well for your bottom view. You could go ahead at any time you can clean these dimensions up, relocate them, change the arrows, and really make it look like a drawing view. And then you can go in and either recapture the view so your image updates the bottom view would automatically be recaptured anyway, especially when you publish it. So again, just another way to put dimensions on really quickly. A note, if you wanted these basic dimensions for locating these holes to show up automatically, there is an option inside your document properties, dimension expert, if you go into the geometric tolerance scene, if I would have had create basic dimensions checked, then my basic dimensions would have come in all at the same time. Also look, where is it getting my tolerance scene from? If I want to change my tolerance scene decimal locations or my tolerance scene type, that can be done by some global settings, again, under these different options under dimension expert. So that's where some of the settings ride. You'll find them under the part options, not the drawing options. But I would recommend even turning on the showing the basic dimensions for locating these holes right in the beginning. And you could have snapped all those dimensions on in one view. So thanks for watching. Getting started with MBD. Please go ahead and search for my using Sketcher dimensions in model-based definition. 
and also using these 3D dimensions or 3D views to go ahead and create drawings with. Thanks again for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. Thank you.